Yeah. Comes, and I will, because what I'll say about Bush is, you know, he did a lot of things that I, I disagreed with. I was very critical of him, but he kept us safe. Yeah. I say that. And she goes crazy. Yeah, right? keeping us safe after making us unsafe. Well, well so, thank so you. what that means is, I'm thinking like a Republican thinks. You know, Donald Trump is speaking to Democrats, and you wouldn't think he would double down because yeah. he's speaking. To, to, I mean, the Democrats have been like a mess. liberal Democrats have been saying that. Even moderate Democrats don't say what Donald Trump was saying the other night and what he said yesterday. But if you if you listen to him, if you listen to him, it's tone rather than content, I think, that throws people off. His tone throws people off. The content of what he says is actually accurate in the sense that he talks about all of the warnings that the Bush administration had prior to September 11th, right. leading That's up correct. to September 11th, and but it's tone. He also talked about, it was interesting, Willie, he said, you give up 19 runs in the first inning, and then you say I had a pretty good game after that. He's going back to the actual 9-11 attacks, which, again... What Republican is saying that? I mean, it's no, not just well, no Republican said it. I remember Nobody Ron Paul saying something like, well, it's not that they don't have guts. I don't believe it. And most Republicans don't... You don't, don't believe there were warnings. Most... I believe there were warnings. I believe there are a lot of. I don't want to read. I don't want to read negotiate. Uh, yeah. Debate this. Yeah. Okay. Let's just not re-debate this. We disagree on it. That's not the important point. What the important point is, Willie, is for Republicans like me who vote in Republican primaries. That's not stuff that you say. Right. Right. It's right. Not. But he did the equivalent because we're going to show some new polls that have come out. He did the debate equivalent of shooting somebody on Fifth Avenue and getting away with it. Yeah, I mean, you're watching that debate on Saturday night, and I heard Democrats and left or lefties saying, my, my synapses aren't connecting right now because I'm agreeing with everything Donald Trump's saying, and this is happening in the context of a Republican primary. And I think it is all about the content of what he said. For Republicans, they're going, wait a minute, this is what the other side believes. This guy? I don't think so. And I do actually believe that it was a spontaneous moment. He was angry. You saw it yes. on his face at Jeb Bush all night. Jeb says, my brother kept us safe. It, and I think it, Trump fired that off and doesn't want to back away it from it. It goes to strength. And there are yes. a lot of people that are watching on TV, even though I disagree and a lot of Republicans disagree. A lot of South Carolina voters, Gene Robinson, are looking at that and they're going, wait, you're right. He, he didn't keep us safe. Yeah, and exactly. It, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. And this is what happens when you have a Clinton running against a Bush. Hillary mm -hmm. Clinton, as we described yesterday in Maureen's column, Ugh. is paying for the sins of the past 20 years of the women who enabled to Bill Clinton. It's a chilling column. Je Jeb Bush is paying for the sins, political sins, of George W. Bush. And... It just, it seems, it seems like Republicans, even in the Deep South, are saying, if you look at these polls, we want to put that behind us. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. You know, once again, it appears that Donald Trump had his finger on the pulse of actual voters more than the, re the professional Republican politicians or professional Democratic politicians for that matter uh, because all the all the recent polls after the debate show him at, at worst unscathed and, and at best um, you know actually getting a little boost from it it's incredible uh, you know the, the moment of the debate that that just really struck me was after Trump said what he said Marco Ruby came back and said, no, 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 it wasn't George W. Bush's fault that 9-11 happened. It was Bill Clinton's fault. You know, now I have written columns saying we should blame terrorist acts on the terrorists, not on the officials who tried their best to keep us safe, because they did try to, their best to keep us safe. But it, it, I think Trump points out that it is it is totally hypocritical to say, yeah. well, you can't blame Bush, who was in office, well, yeah, but yeah. you can blame Bill Clinton, who was not in office. It right. doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. and, and yes, there was a lot of intel that went before in front of Bill, in front of George W. Bush, uh, specifically. Bill Clinton had some chances to kill Osama bin Laden. He refused to do it. But at the end of the day, my gut reaction whether it's Donald Trump saying it or whether it's Ron Paul saying it is no, it's not George Bush's fault. It's Osama bin Laden's fault. Yeah. But, 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 anyway, I, I, I do want to say this, though. This, this South Carolina debate is going to be looked back upon if, if these numbers hold up as um, uh, just a, a historical moment in the Republican Party where the Republican establishment fell off a cliff. So I let's mean, they, take they, a look. they booed, they booed, and as Matt Dowd said, 
uh, anybody who thinks that booing Donald Trump a as a member of the Republican establishment does anything but strengthen Donald Trump yeah. is a fool. And by the way, he knows that in real time, yeah. uh, a new post-debate poll out of South Carolina shows Donald Trump unscathed by Saturday night's debate. The survey taken on Sunday and Monday by public policy polling gives Trump a 17-point lead, 35% over Senators Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio, who are tied at 18%. And look at that. Right now, Willie, it looks like if anybody lost that debate, it's Ted Cruz, who lost his well, firm, look at Jeb firm Bush, grip on second place. Which I thought and, it was a good night for and him. And Jeb Bush, who, who again, I thought would get the biggest bump out of he this debate. Carson yeah, that Jeb thing. Bush number is just stunning. They thought it's if he could survive New Hampshire, get to South Carolina with his money and the Bush family's respect down there, that he could do well. But that number, he's 30 points back of Donald Trump. And he put in his best debate performance. I mean, I thought he put... What, yeah. what the hell does anybody know? I thought he put in his best debate performance, Mike Barnacle. He was strong. Yeah. He, he was aggressive. Joe, uh, you just summed up the entire primary season, the entire political year. What the hell does anybody know? I know. But, but, but this really does, though, take it to a whole new level. Saturday night... The, 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 the craziness of, of 2016 in the Republican Party was melted down to a core, a, a, a red, lava-like, steamy <laughs> core. And, and yet Donald Trump has gone up, and the so-called grown-ups in the room have collapsed. He's playing in another league. He's playing a different game than the rest of them are. Watching that debate, though, I'm thinking, I'm fighting my instinct that nothing hurts Donald Trump because we've learned that. That's become concrete. I was sure. I, Listen, I thought it was but a at that point, debate. I said, wow, he's going almost into Michael Moore territory in a Republican yeah. primary debate. I said, this has to hurt him a little bit. And